3D overlays are something that I've been trying to mess around with for a while now. As I practice and I get better as a 3D artist, I try to use my knowledge in making 2D overlays using OBS Studio to find new and more exciting ways to incorporate 3D in the whole streaming workflow. Anyways, all that to say that I made something and I'm giving it out for free and here's the concept. I've used 3D to create some stream assets before, but it was mostly recreating flat stuff and giving it more depth. So basically just replicating how I would make a normal overlay with just some frames, some borders, except this time they were just in 3D. But while I was recreating some Elgato products just for fun, I told myself it would be super cool to have a 3D environment, but it's actually an overlay, meaning that I could superimpose it onto my streaming assets and it would just look natural. Now I'm aware this is not necessarily a brand new concept. People have been using PNG images of billboards to basically put themselves on the billboard while streaming. But if I create the whole thing from scratch, I'm going to have more control over it and I can create some fun integrations. Anyways, using the free Blender software, no, I will not make tutorials about it. I came up with this, just two screens on a desk with some flower pots, a mic, a stream deck, a little webcam to basically simulate you know, the typical streamer desk. The goal here is to keep the proportions of, yes, I'm going to have a 19 by 9 screen for my webcam, for example. And then on the right, usually we have the chat plus some more stuff. Like if you have some labels, bars, you can put that here. If you have some sub goals or things like that also can go on that screen. And all I would have to do is just make sure that those screens are cut out, or at least this screen is cut out for the webcam. And that's pretty much it. Also having it in 3D would mean that I could potentially animate it. But honestly, like this one, took me one whole day and that's all I was about to put in it. <laughs> Initially, I used some assets to basically have some inspiration, just place them. And then I deleted all the assets and modeled everything from scratch because I know that I was going to share it with you and I didn't want to have any copyright issues. So everything you see right now modeled from scratch by your boy. I also added some depth of field to the camera to give it that more realistic feel. I also have like a sunlight sim going on for the lighting a little bit. So yeah, that's the scene. Initially, I had another plant on the foreground that was like out of focus and I wanted to like animate it, but I thought, hey, I could probably just do this in After Effects, which is exactly what I did. So that's the image I rendered. And then I used a color key to get rid of the white screen, basically. And then I masked it out. Uh, if you could show me the mask, that would be cool. It is right there because otherwise it was masking everything that was bright, basically. So now basically I could export a video that would have that plant animation on top of it. So it would still be transparent. And all you have to do is basically place your webcam behind this and you're good to go. You might want to angle it if you want to. You can use a corner pin effect. I'll show you that in OBS later. Now on the right side is just a black screen. You can put whatever you want on top of it. It still works like in 2D, pretty much. You can also see there's a bit of glow going on at the bottom right here. That's also like a, a subtle animation that I wanted to put. So I have this adjustment layer going up using the glow and then going down. So it's a perfect loop. Same thing for the plant animation. If I keep it playing, you'll see that it loops perfectly. It ends around here. Uh, where is it? Palm tree. There you go. Goes in and out. And that's it. I also wanted to avoid to have something that was like way too long. So six seconds, well, around six seconds seemed right. Of course, this being 3D means that technically I could have, you know, animated like a sunset going on and stuff like that. But hey, maybe in the future, now that you know that I have access to this, I might update it, maybe, if you guys behave. <laughs> but that is basically what I'm going to be sharing with you. You're going to have the video file and I'll, and I'll also share like just a PNG. Oh yeah, and by the way, Though the tree is just like a PNG. <laughs> it's not even like a real tree. It's the drawing of a tree, but it works though. It's out of focus anyways. All right, let's get all that into OBS Studio. Let me create a new scene. I'm going to call it 3D Desktop. We're going to click plus and we're going to add the video. You could add an image if you're going to use the image, but I'm going to go with media source, 3D Desktop vid. We're going to go look for it. Right now it's called intermission.webm, but I'm probably going to change the title and I'm going to make sure that it loops. Click OK and boom, just like that. It's really that easy, actually. I'm going to add my camera. We could add it as a video capture device, but I'm just going to add it as a scene because I already have it in its own scene. Main cam. Oh, yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Hold on. Main cam. Let's turn on my webcam. There you go. Hi, it's me. Uh, <laughs> go back to 3D desktop and there it is. So I'm just going to drag and drop. Look at that. Beautiful. So um, as I said, you could just do this. 
and that's completely fine. Or you can like play around with it a little bit. Actually, let me keep it like that. And then using the shader filter plugin, you could, you know, try to correct. It's fun because like it seems to match pretty well without doing any. <laughs> I didn't expect that, actually. Yes, this is my first time trying this uh, filters. User defined shader here. If you have the shader filter plugin installed, load shader text from file. Corner pin is what we're going to look for. Corner pin. There you go. And here I'm going to go with top left on the X axis, top left X. And I'm going to bring this around here. Bottom left X. I'm going to oh, bottom left X. I'm going to bring that here. So basically, I'm trying to follow along the extremities of that screen. So top right X. And then bottom right X. I want to play with the top right Y a little bit. I just want to bring it down just to see like that. Then bottom right Y. There you go. So technically this should be matching the perspective, but as you can see, it didn't do that much. All right. Now, second thing that you might be wondering is for the chat. How do I place the chat? Well, it's just I think this is like kind of um, flat. I didn't really pay attention. I kind of eyeballed it, but I think you can just slap the chat in there and it will look fine. Uh, the one thing is that you do need to add a little bit of blur because I made it with the depth of field. I made it a little blurry so it would look kind of realistic. So in my case, I believe I have a browser source that is already chat. So I'm going to go plus browser and we're going to find chat box. Yes. Do I even have Twitch chat? All right, I do now. Uh, test. But if you want to put your chat, I suggest you put it like not all the way. You know, it doesn't have like, don't put it on top of the mic, you know, put it slightly above the mic if you wanted to cover the whole thing. But I did leave a little bit of space so you can also put things like if you have sub goals, if you have your labels, bars, if you have sponsors or if you have a logo you want to place, it would be cool to just have the chat start here and then put all of that stuff underneath it and make sure you don't touch the mic. <laughs> Let's ask a ball. Will this video flop outlook? Not so good. All right. So that's promising. So I did mention something about blurring it. So if you're going to use this overlay as like the main overlay, one thing I would say is place everything on that screen and then group them all together and then add that blur to the group. Okay, that's simple. Uh, so let's go to filters and you can use whatever, whatever you have that can blur. Just use that shader filter plugin has a couple of blurs. Uh, there's also a composite blur. That's its own plugin. You can do that too. What did I click on? I messed up. <laughs> Chat box is what I wanted. Filter composite blur. And just adjust it. You want things to still be visible, but you know, yeah, around one is fine. Maybe a little less 0.7. Gaussian. You can also play with the opacity, maybe even the blending mode. So right click blending mode screen. Doesn't look like it does much, but maybe it does. I don't know. <laughs> Color correction filter. You can drop the opacity until it feels right. Around now, it feels pretty right. But yeah, those who have a keen eye would probably notice that I have a little bit of white around like it's not perfectly cut. I will fix this and you will find the files over at gumroad.com slash guy level. I'm going to put them. It will be a link in the description. So again, you will find the animation. So the web M and you will also find just the PNG. So that's what the PNG will look like. Camera is a little stretched though. Let me let me unstretch this a little bit. I should have matched the colors Now that blends in perfectly. <laughs> Anyways, let me know if you like that kind of concept so I can make more like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, but most importantly, share with your streamer friends. I know you have streamer friends. All of your buddies are streamers. Share that kind of information with them. OK, you don't have to keep the gems for yourself <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Go out there. Make me proud. Follow me on Twitch. Get level out.